ancient ruins, dazzling beaches, and incredible cuisine. Just a few things that come to mind when thinking about Mexico. Officially, the United Mexican States, commonly known as Mexico, is the 10th most populated country in the world, with around 129 million people. Bordered famously with the USA to the north, despite attempts to build that wall, and with Guatemala and Belize to the south, Mexico has the Pacific Ocean to the west and the Gulf of Mexico or Caribbean Sea to the east. Due to its location just below the USA, most people mistake Mexico as being part of South America. But it is actually in North America and is also the world's 13th largest country. Mexico City is the capital and also the largest and most populated city. With a rich history and culture that dates back thousands of years, Mexico is a land of extremes with its geographical qualities, diverse economy, and the gap between rich and poor. High mountains and deep canyons dominate central Mexico with rainforests to the south and east and deserts to the north. Mexico is rich in natural resources such as oil, silver, and copper, but the economy is mostly held up by the financial sector and tourism. While the long-standing stereotype of all Mexicans being local farmers stands, agriculture accounts for only 4% of the economy. Times are changing, and Mexico is rolling with them, realizing the importance of finance, tourism, and technology to boost the economy. Ironically, Mexican cuisine is much loved in the U.S. and all over the world. Tacos are a given in every household on Tuesdays, and burritos, tortillas, tamales, enchiladas, and quesadillas fill up the menu nicely. Don't forget that side of guacamole, too. It's no secret that Mexican citizens make up the largest proportion of the United States' foreign-born population. Interestingly, U.S. citizens, on the other hand, constitute the largest immigrant group in Mexico. Want to get away? I think so. Mexico's history is rich, with the Mayans settling there first, before the Aztec Empire based itself in the southern area during the 1300s, building some of the famous pyramids and temples we can see around the area today. The Aztecs were overthrown by the Spanish in 1521, who then reigned for another 300 years until Mexico fought for and gained independence in the early 19th century. Chichen Itza, a sacred city of temples and pyramids, is one of the most famous tourist spots in the country today. Located on the Yucatan Peninsula, or East Mexico, it is one of the most visited archaeological sites in the world, with Kukukan Pyramid dominating the site's center. Declared a World Heritage by UNESCO in 1988 and listed as one of the new Seven Wonders of the World since 2007. In fact, Mexico has 35 sites on the World Heritage list, so it is definitely a country worth visiting. Cinco de Mayo, celebrated annually on May 5th, is not actually Mexico's Independence Day, but the anniversary of the victory against Imperial France at the Battle of Puebla in 1862. Nowadays, it is viewed more as a time to honor Mexican culture and heritage. Meanwhile, Independence Day is observed on September 16th every year with street parties, fireworks, music, and a taco or two. Arriba, arriba, andale! See you next time. Adios!